Hey guys, next up in our group chat series, we're gonna insert the red bar that you see here to keep track of the messages that each user has read and not read. So we're gonna keep track of this using a last read at column in our model for the channel user, and then that's going to implement into the UI. And then we'll also update our JavaScript to keep track of that based upon some browser events. So let's dive in. First things first, we want to run Rails G migration, add last read at to channel users. And this will be the last read at date time column. We'll run Rails DB migrate to create that. Basically, this is just date time column. And we put it in the table between users and channels, which is the one that uh, keeps track of which users are in the channel. So that is the perfect place to put it. And we can go into our channels controller on the show action and look up that channel user. So what we'll do is we'll say current user dot channel users find by channel at channel. And then we can grab that last read at here and say channel user dot last read at. Now sometimes this is going to be nil because um, the user hasn't read anything yet. And so we can set this value by default to something like a year ago. So all of those messages um, that they've never seen before will be marked as that. And we're probably not rendering those messages. Anyways, we could also do something here like at channel.created at, which would be a good option. You know, we just need a default value here so that we're not dealing with nils later on. So then our channel show.html.erb has the channel messages that we render out. So if we go into that partial messages message, we could go at the very top of this file and say if message.createdat.channel.messages.createdat.channel.messages.createdat.channel.messages.createdat.channel.messages.createdat.channel.messages.createdat.channel.messages.createdat.channel.messages.createdat.channel.messages.createdat.channel.messages.createdat.chann